I'm in the cloud centric version of Lightroom CC and I want to search for an image to edit. So I'm going to press the letter P on the keyboard. Alternatively, you can click on the little storage icon on the left there. Now I'm going to select all photos and then enter in a term or a word inside that search field. OK, so let's just give that a go. We'll hit the return enter key and Lightroom hopefully will find the image I'm looking for. It's uh, here. So I'll just press the E for edit and this brings me into the edit area of Lightroom CC. Now it's non-linear so we can basically tackle this uh, as and when I would like. I'm going to start actually with the effects panel and I'm going to add a vignette into this image. If you want more access to more um, uh, sophisticated control over that vignette just click on that little um, arrow there and then that is going to give you access to the full features of that. For instance I could um, bring in the midpoint and then just uh, back that vignette off slightly there. Okay, I'll come back to the uh, light panel now. This is where we control tonality. I'll bring in the highlights a little bit more and open up those shadows. Okay, so uh, I'm going to um, apply the best values for the whites and blacks. If I hold down the Alt or Option key, I can get a clipping view so I can wind that white slider quite high before any clipping just starts to appear down there on the shirt. And I can also do the same thing with the blacks. Now the blacks are already starting to clip. Um, so I'll just raise that a, a, touch, a touch there. OK, so with that, I'm going to come over to the color panel here. Uh, I'm going to take the vibrance down a little bit, but I also want to get rid of sort of these blues and purples. So I'm going to click on this little color wheel here and then I'm going to select the purples and bring the saturation of those purples all of the way down. I'm going to do the same thing with the blues as well, bringing the saturation of those blues. I could also bring the luminance of those blues just to darken that shirt down as well. OK, so let's come back to the light panel. Uh, in fact, I'm going to come over to the effects panel once again. And this time I'm going to add a little bit of clarity. OK, so once that image is edited and I'm fairly happy with that image now, I can quickly bounce it to Facebook. So I'll send to Facebook and I'll just uh, enter the uh, gentleman's name here, which is uh, Gilbert Namala. And uh, then I'll share that to my timeline photos on Facebook. And so there we have a, a quick uh, search, edit and share inside of Lightroom CC. Uh, that's the cloud centric version. Thank you.